guys, it's me. I just wanted to uh, check in and say hello and uh, give a quick update. I am, it is Wednesday and I think <laughs> Wednesday, um, I am due to go back to the doctor on Friday. Um, but I just wanted to share that uh, things are progressing. I think things are progressing well. However, I'm probably being just a little anxious. I um, still have some areas that I that have not um, completely healed and uh, surgery was September 14th and we are a month and a few days beyond almost a month and a week beyond surgery and I still have areas that have not healed and so, and so that concerns me a little. Um, I have uh, an area here um, on the right side of the breast outer breast uh, outer right breast that um you know there's a cut uh there but it has expanded to about this size um that is um an open wound which bothers me because i'm not sure how a cut an incision has um now turned into an open wound um i have a couple of areas that were scabs that have also turned into very small open wounds um which bothers me they're on the breast but they're they're smaller ones um you know maybe smaller than a pea size so they're not um very large however in the abdominal area which there were some incisions i also have areas that have not yet healed and part of the problem has been um uh, that one, I, in the beginning, I had, um, you know, uh, gauze and tape, you know, that was covering the area. So, you know, it was staying moist. So it was having a difficult time with scabbing. So then I stopped putting that on it. And then it would be the panties or whatever, you know, house dress or gown or shirt or whatever uh, would stick to the wound. So then I started to go bare which I don't mind at all. <laughs> um, and um, and that was fine. It would scab, but then of course I couldn't be naked all the time. And so I would have to put on a house, um, uh, a gown or a house dress or whatever. You know, I don't know what terms you guys use. I use a gown. Um, or a shirt, t-shirt, oversized t-shirt or what have you. And that would stick to the wound and then pull the scab off. So long story short, I still have these areas that are not healing. And so I'm just a little bit concerned about that. Um, just speaking a little bit candid about where I am and um, how my healing is coming about. So I'm not feeling 100 today. So with that being said, I put on some eyeliner. So it looks kind of blue, but it's really actually black eyeliner. And I have some lipstick on. So this is actually not lipstick. I was watching a YouTube video on how to make um, a matte lipstick. And this is not matte. It still looks kind of glossy. But what it says to do, what it told me to do, was to put on um, a gloss uh, or a Vaseline, petroleum, or a chapstick. So I put on chapstick. It was like EOS, actually. And I put that on. And then it said to use like an old, um, uh, what is it called? Old, uh, eyeshadow. So I didn't use an old eyeshadow, but I used an eyeshadow color that I wouldn't use. This is like a really, really, um, hot pink eyeshadow color color and so I did it this still has like a shine to it I'm looking for a matte and I wasn't even looking for this color but I just wanted to try out what I saw on YouTube doesn't work <laughs> not sure if you guys can see I mean I know you can see it but it is not matte I guess if I do that more It does look matte in the beginning, but over time it starts to look a little glossy. Because when I first did it, it did look kind of matte, but then it looks a little bit, it has a little bit of a gloss to it. And I don't want a gloss. I actually want um, Ruby Woo. <laughs> it's a MAC um, lipstick. And it is matte. And it's really, really pretty. 
but I just don't want to spend the money <laughs> because I'm cheap. And I'm just scared that if I buy it and I don't like it, then I've wasted the money because I've done that many times before. Um, but I saw it on someone else. I've seen it on many people. It looks so pretty on them. And so I want Ruby Woo, but I just don't want to spend the Ruby Woo Mac uh, money. Anywho, um, so I said I'd go buy, go and buy a dupe, but uh, Wet n Wild has a dupe, but it's like spotlight red, but it's a gloss, and I don't want a gloss. I want a matte, um, so I think I'm going to have to bite the bullet and buy Max Ruby Woo. I don't have, I'm not even working. I you know, I don't even go anywhere. I don't know. What I, I just want it. I just want it. I just want it. Anywho, um, I did just want to really talk about my update on how things are going and, um, and that, you know, just share that I'm still a little bit concerned about how things are developing. Um, and I'm not sure if you can see, you can't even really tell, um, you know, so let me stand up so when i stand ha ah, i can't stand up so i can't stand up straight yet because i still have you know all of this stuff going on but yeah you can't even see the you know i don't even know what it's going to look like when they finish because i still have yet another surgery um that i have to have and honestly i am so so incredibly thankful cuz god has been so unbelievably good to me um but i am really tired um with all of the surgeries and you know all that has come along with this but you know what i would never have guessed um you know that my you know that i would be in this predicament but um even bigger than that that um I would have been able to handle this situation that way. But you know what? God has just been so good and he has blessed beyond my wildest dreams. And uh, I don't even say comprehension because I surely do comprehend that God is bigger and better than I could even think. And, oh, excuse my hair. I haven't done anything to it today. I just kind of got up. But um, he has been so unbelie unbelievably amazing. I have run into people. I've met people. I've you know, people just continue to love on me. And you know what? I don't go anywhere. I mean, I don't ever, I don't get to get out of my house because of my, I can't drive. I can't, you know, um, my stamina is so, so, so limited right now, but people just continue to bless me, um, bring me lunch. Mildred bought me lunch. Um, and I love her so much for doing that, but I just, you know, it's just, God has just been so good to me. So I don't want to talk forever because it's already been eight minutes, but I love you guys. Thank you for listening, loving, encouraging, praying for me. Um, it certainly does make a difference. Um, I so miss church. Um, but anyhow, love you guys. I'll talk to you again. I'll probably talk to you. It won't be on Friday because I have to go to the doctor on Friday and after my doctor's visit, I always come home and go to sleep for hours on end. But um, maybe Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, one of those days, I'll get back with you and let you know how things are going. Love, love, love. Mwah. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. Ah.